number eight, we've got some inequalities, and it says 2y is less than 5, but it's also greater than or equal to minus 6. y is an integer, so this means a whole number. So we are looking for just whole numbers between minus 6 and 5, it seems, at the moment. But we're going to work down, write down all possible values of y. So we're not looking for 2y, which we've got in the middle here. We've got 2y, but we want to talk values of y. So what I might do is I might say, right, okay, because I'm only looking for values of y, then let's make this y in the middle. What would I have to do to 2y to get y? I'd have to half it, and I'd have to divide it by 2. And if I do that to one part of the inequality, then I need to do it to all sections. So... I'm going to divide 5 by 2, 2.5, minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3. So now I'm just looking at what are the whole numbers that are um, greater than or equal to minus 3, but less than 2.5. So I'm allowed to have this equal to minus 3, so minus 3 is definitely 1. And let's go up, see how far we can take it. So minus 2 could be included, minus 1, that's still less than 2.5, 0. Uh, 1, and then we get to 2, and we can't go above 2, because if we go to the next one, that will be 3, and that will be greater than 2.5, and we're not allowed to go above 2.5. So that will be our values of y.